Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. Be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, I want you to pay a very strong attention to this message. I want you to pay a very strong attention. You are the one that they have been waiting for. You can't give up. This is not about me. This is not about your neighbor. This is not about witches and wizard. This is about your bloodline. This is about your family. This is about your origin. Hallelujah. You know, you are fighting a generational battle. Somebody, you are hearing me right now, there are some things that you just want to change. You know, there are some persons who pray to break foundational poverty, foundational barrenness, foundational delay foundational many many or tiny dead you know there are some persons who god has put in families to break all of that when you are fighting that battle child of god it is not always an easy thing that is why i said be very be very attentive to this message because you will encounter some challenges that will want you to stop fighting for your family I am telling you, you are like, I can't, you, you will be like, I can't do this anymore. It is a very heavy thing. These are powers that kill the new prophet. I am telling you, these are power that keep prayer warriors. These are power that silence those that used to be so bold in the Lord. So this is why that you must keep asking the Lord to hold you by your hands. The Bible says it is not of he that will it. But of the Lord that showed mercy. That is why you must keep asking God for mercy. Hallelujah. There are powers that broke men of God. And they turn from serving God. They turn into different things. I heard of a man of God who used to sing and all of that. That suddenly become a gay. I don't know that that change. You know. Though I'm not used to him. I, I, I listened to a message of someone that was talking about the man. So, and the man was like a popular person, you know, but suddenly the person left the way of Christ and the person married his fellow man. When you look at situations like that, you will realize that these are the powers that fight those who want to break generational causes that affect such people. Why? Because she, he was standing in a gap that he did not even realize. So the moment you allow the devil is gone. It is gone, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The people that fall, it is beyond what you see that just make them fall. You can see somebody, ah, this person used to be a pastor, but now nah, look at him, look at her. Ah, this person used to serve God, but look at him, he's drinking in the bar. It is beyond that. Why? Because that person was standing in a gap, trying to break something that has been in, in generation. That have been in foundation before his parents, his grand great parents were even born, and he or she does not have the understanding, they easily get to him. That is why God is speaking to you, child of God. You can't give up now. You are the one whom that family has been waiting for to bring that deliverance. You are the one whom your mother, your father, your great grandfather. That suffer the same silly similar causes, those ones that are no longer even here, that are that have been waiting for to bring deliverance into that home. Hallelujah. I heard of a home that was built, a very beautiful home. And this home was built on the wrong foundation. Any tenants, you know, tenants, any renter, those that came to rent the house, they can't stay for six months, they will go. And another one came in, he said, every night, they hear noises, they hear people baiting at night in the building. 
they hear Lord, and the pastor told them to move out. Why? Because the, the, the lane of the foundation has been laid with blood. You, you understand? So there are some certain things that have happened that people don't know. So that is why warfare is very important. Warfare prayers is very important. Enough of the entertainment. When you keep doing something, plugging the leaf, you know it is time for you to start uprooting the situation. And that is what you are doing. That is why they will come for you. That is why they will make sure they want to make you to give up. You will see unnecessary argument in the same family you are praying for. Unnecessary argument that will bring division for you not to be able to pray for unity anymore. You will see hatred in the same family that you are trying to fight for. You will see jealousy. Child of God, the enemy will fight back. God said, don't give up. Stand firm in his word. You are the one that they have been looking for. To break that generational curse. And through you, your household shall be liberated. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.